Okay. So Rabbeinu says, Mi shorotze lezakot l'tshuva. Somebody wants to be zochet to tshuva, yerogel ba'amiras tehillim. He should accustom himself to saying tehillim. Why? Ki amira tehillim mesugal l'tshuva. Because saying tehillim is mesugal l'tshuva. It's prone to bring you to tshuva. Why? Ki yesh nun shari tshuva. There are 50 gates of tshuva. Arbaim betisha sharim yachol kol adam lichnos bahem lasigam. 49 of them, any person can have the ability potentially to enter into and to fathom. But the 50th gate, who bechinat ha-teshuva shel Hashem yitzbarach ba'atzmo, is the aspect of Hashem's teshuva himself. Hashem also does teshuva. Hashem returns to us too. So he says, 49 gates you can enter and you can come towards Hashem, but the 50th gate... That's Hashem's tshuva, Kivyachum. Ki gam etzlo itbarach matzinu bechina teshuva. Because even, even by Hashem we see this aspect of teshuva, as, as it says, Kemoshikatuv, shuva alai ve shuva elechem. That you'll return to me and I will return to you. Ve elu har boim betisha shari teshuva. Heim bechinat ar boim betisha otiot. Now these 49 gates of tshuva. They correspond to 49 letters. Sheyesh b'shnei masar shemot shifteka. There are 49 letters. If you spell out all the names of the shvatim, it's 49 letters. Ruven Shimon Levi, right? Ki kol shar v'shar yesh lo'ot ma'arboyim v'tisha otiot ha-shvatim. Every one of these gates of the 49 gates has one letter of, 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 these, of, these, of the names of the shvatim that's shayach to that gate. So there's 49 gates of tshuva, and each one has a letter that's shayach to one of the names, if you spell out all the names of the shvatim. Now, Rabbeinu says, Everyone wants to do tshuva. Everyone wants to come close to Hashem. You know, if you open somebody's eyes in the street, right, that, that where, the real, where the real geshmak is, if you show him for a second where the real geschmack is, you know, the real awesomeness is contained, he'll be like, I want it. Everyone wants it. Right? So he says, but nevertheless, what happens? We see that many people, they're not zochet to do tshuva. They're still roaming the streets. They're still roaming the, the avenues of their mind. And they're not coming to tshuva. How could that be? So what does one do? How do you break out of that? He <coughs> says, <coughs> You have people that they... Nebuch, Hashem, some of Hashem's children, they don't have the awakening to come to tshuva. They're not even interested sometimes. You might talk to somebody, you'd be like, listen, you know, Rabbi, thanks, but I'm not interested. You know what I'm saying? So... What do you do? And he says, not only that, even somebody that is, is, is awakened to do tshuva, you see, sometimes, you know, I had friends, you know, came, they came to yeshiva, they said they want to turn their lives around, but they come to yeshiva and it's not going for them. It's just not, they're not feeling it, they're not, they're, they're sad. They're not, they're, they, they haven't entered into their individual gate of tshuva. They haven't come to their letter their entrance into Hashem. Right? So that's what we want to talk about. Your individual gate, how to come to that. And he says, not only that, let's say you find your own individual gate. Right? right? So, you get there. It could be that the gate is closed. Hashem Yerachem. Mahmad calls it because of all of these reasons. That's how a person could be, that he's not Zochet to do Tshuva. So he says like this, miras tehillim, but from saying to Hillim, it has the power. Even if a person doesn't have any awakening to do tshuva, tshuva, he will be awakened to do tshuva. The gam zocha al yedei tehillim, lagia el ashar vaot ashayach lo beliftoach ashar. That through tehillim you could come to your gate, to your letter. And to open that gate, 
That's the gewaldic ability of say of the power of Tehillim. No, people don't value it anymore. You know, people don't value. Nobody, nobody talks about this anymore. The only people you see t- saying Tehillim are the, like you know the old Persian man on the bus. You know, he's like sitting saying Tehillim. Great. What does it mean? What, what, what's happened? We have to know for generations, thousands of years. Am Yisrael have been saying Tehillim. Mothers, children, men, like 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 uh, like uh, they used to say. I think Rabbi said like if you see a breast lover by us by a chassid saying Tehillim, by one of Anshe Shlomeinu saying Tehillim. Wow. What a geschmack. He takes one, he takes one capital to him, he throws his neshama in there, he shuckles, you know? And a friend of mine told me that a friend of his, when he, when he, when he first said Tikkun Eklal, he didn't know how to read Hebrew, he said it in English. The whole thing he said it in English, it was the first time in his life he knew it was a Tikkun for Shmir Sabris. And he had so much Kilkulam in his life, he said the whole Tikkun Eklal in English, he was bawling, streams of tears. He left that that whole episode like like he he just he he, he was like he was like living he was, he was, as if he was born. Mama, she couldn't. It was like such a transformation for this guy. There's such a power in Tehillim. It's unbelievable. We're forgetting. Rabbi was saying it's a mas, it's masugal for tshuva. If you get into this practice, if if it's not working for you in in Hebrew, if you're not understanding, you could say it in English. You could say it in Hebrew English. But you have to open your heart. If you open your heart while you sing Tehillim, it's a huge vehicle. So it says, "V'zel bechinas naum hagever who come all v'dar shira basenu zal shehekim all shel teshuva u'neim zmiros Yisrael." How pleasant is the songs of Am Yisrael? Ki al yidei bechinas neim zmiros Yisrael from 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 you singing the zmirot of Yisrael, dahin which means Sefer Tehillim Shiyasa that David Melch established. Alideza who come Ula shall chuva, you uplift you 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 uplift the aspect of chuva in your life. Kial Yadi Tehilim Zoch the Chuva can is kill. Because from Tehillim you can be Zoch to Chuva. Vazesha Amra Basin Uzal Lohaya David Roy La Oto Masa. This is what we were saying before. The David Amalch wasn't Roy for those actions. Those things that when we when we read the life of David Amalch, we you know, it seems to us that, you know, there might, might be something wrong with what he did. He says, you should know he wasn't Roy for any of those things. The only way that he fell on that level, whatever that means, or what we think it means, is in order to teach that for every single one individual, we should learn that everyone can find his way back, no matter how far you fall. We see that the main aspect of the of David Melch was to Hillam Shamru Beit Orut Gadol Naod Ruach Hakodesh that he said it with such an arousal, such an awakening with Ruach Hakodesh, Ad Shekol Echad VeEchad that every single individual Kafi Mashu Yochalim Tzoyat Atzma B'Toch Sefer to Hillam he could find himself, he could find his own life, you grab your own life back to yourself in the Sefer of Tehillim. From us saying to Hillim, it has that ability. You should know one time that uh, I heard Bishem the Chafetz Chaim that the Chafetz Chaim they say um, initially when he was going to when he was going to Cheder when he was going to Yeshiva he wasn't he wasn't of the students that was just you know on fire for Torah. He was just—he was like a regular boy, you know, studying like a regular boy. And uh, I don't know what happened some day, but but something something happened that he got upset and had to do with shoes. I think uh, they, 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 it was like Mamish people were so poor. He was like sharing a pair of shoes with another boy, and it was like his turn. And like he didn't—he didn't—he didn't have it. Whatever it was, he comes home. He says, "I'm I'm I'm, I'm leaving," and he comes back home. And he didn't want to go back to learn that day. And um, and he see he opens the door of his house, and he sees his mother in the corner with, by the window, with like a book of Tehillim in her hands, and she's mamish saying Tehillim, like with such with such a heart. And in the middle of Tehillim, she you know she stops after, <coughs> after a capital, and she stops. She turns to heavens, and she says, "Tatazisa, sweet father in the heavens, please help that my." That my mayoral, he's gonna shtaik Torah. Help that help him. My son's gonna learn Torah. Please help him. And she was saying with tears coming down her. And the Chafetz Chaim saw this. And he said, "That's it. You can't. You can't waste time anymore." 
if there's such if there's such a yearning from a Yiddish mother like that and he sees what that is he says I can't I can't waste my time I can't just you know cry over shoes or whatever I have to go back after Steig so so you could say on a certain level uh, that it was through Tehillim and Hispotidus that uh, that the Chofetz Chaim was uh, in Baruch Hashem we're Zohar, look what we're Zohar to, to the Chofetz Chaim now because of that so so yeah we have to realize that there's vehicles that we have and one of the one of the the most precious vehicles is this Indian of Tehillim you don't feel like you're awake you don't feel like you have a pulse you don't feel like yeah you know it's like we're sitting together we're talking about coming and being attached to Hashem but but you know I'm not, it's hard to feel so you could feel it grab a grab a capital Tehillim and, and, and throw your Neshama in there you know what I mean call out to Hashem it's it's gewalt. it's from the highest thing we'll, we'll see further on in the Sefer that tefillah is from higher shorish than even Torah. I know it sounds a little crazy, but we're going to see how that works exactly. <coughs> tefillah is 